all nurses, regardless of where they end up working or the patient population that they see, they're inevitably going to encounter patients with intellectual and developmental disabilities at some point in their career. People with disabilities aren't getting the health care they need. There just isn't content traditionally integrated into undergraduate level nursing programs. So for us, it was an opportunity to make a difference in the lives of people with disabilities through impacting the nursing students that were coming out, helping them feel more comfortable, confident, and competent. But for our undergraduate nursing program, the curriculum is already full and the IDD content isn't something that's traditionally included on the nursing competency exams. So the goal is to create a program that has IDD content integrated into it, not as just one lecture in one course, but a threading of the content throughout the whole course. The Institute they were our partner in this. They had the experts, we had the faculty, we had the nursing curriculum, and we sat together looking at how to integrate that. We looked at our existing curriculum that we already had in place, and let's say we had a well child visit in pediatrics. So you could take that well child visit that could be a simulation or could be a case study, and then put an IDD component on top of that. So you're not creating this whole new curriculum around IDD content. We enhance our curriculum with this. I think a lot of faculty also just didn't feel prepared themselves. They may not have a lot of knowledge or experience in the care for this population, so it's, it's hard to teach about things that you're not comfortable with. The Galasano Institute ended up doing a professional development workshop for faculty about uh, what their goals were and trying to really uh, raise awareness of the need about why should we be teaching about IDD in the nursing curriculum. They brought in some people to speak, some individuals with IDD, some advocates, and I think it really helped the faculty to recognize that this population needs better care, um, more equitable care and that as nurse educators, we have a role to play in that in preparing um, our students to be able to provide that high quality care that's needed. You know, our accreditors for all nursing programs, whether it's NLN or if it's CCNE, all require you to be able to provide person-centered care. Without this in your curriculum, you're not providing person-centered care. You're leaving out a population that has to have health care and deserves good health care outcomes. When we think about what we want to do and the community that we want to serve, this is at the forefront of the thoughts and the decisions that we make when we design our curriculum.